seen a lot of white people who are misinformed, ill-informed, ignorant, but this is the first time that I am seeing somebody who's ignorant and also very spiteful. Listen to this before we get into the video. Juneteenth is, excuse me, what's happening to the white people? They have a black Miss America. They have a black college. They have a black month. What do we have? And now they have Juneteenth. Yes, I understand there was slavery, don't get me wrong. But there was also a Holocaust, and that was more recent than slavery. But you don't hear the Jews saying, gimme, 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 gimme. What's the point of Juneteenth? What is it? I don't know. Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of Our Conversations. My name is Indira Ganga. I am a business journalist by profession and a digital content creator. And I make videos on Africa, black people, empowerment, and how we can rise up and take our rightful place at the global stage. This video has been doing rounds on TikTok. It's one of the most popular videos on TikTok right now about Juneteenth. I will keep this video very brief because I have never been this baffled by a video before um as somebody who consumes a lot of american news from the outside in and it's just what we see in the news we don't get to realize how deep the problem problem runs you know when they say that the system is designed for black people to fail it's it's these people that are the system it's white supremacy that perpetuates such entitlement and 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 ignorance that somebody thinks that they can come out they know nothing about juneteenth they know nothing about what black people have gone through in america yet they dare cry wolf about what white people have first of all i don't think that this woman understood what juneteenth is juneteenth is excuse me what's happening to the white people they have a black miss america they have a black college they have a black month what do we have and now they have juneteenth yes i understand there was slavery don't get me wrong but there was also a Holocaust, and that was more recent than slavery. But you don't hear the Jews saying, gimme, 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 gimme. What's the point of Juneteenth? What is it? I don't know. In the literal sense, I don't think that she understands why it is important to celebrate that day. I don't think she understands the impact of that day. And that casts a light to a very big problem. Is it that history is not taught in American schools or Americans just do not care to pay attention during history class? Is it that all the things that happen to black people do not actually matter and Americans, white Americans are very quick. They want to forget and leave it behind. That very Holocaust that she mentioned that happened to the Jews, the Jews will never, ever allow you to forget that there was a Holocaust and their people died. Right now, if you say anything in the line of anti-Semitism, you're done. You're literally done. Financially, if you work in corporate, you're done. If you work in sports, you're done. And we've seen it before. We saw what happened to Kanye West. His deal with Adidas went haywire because he opened his mouth and made anti-Semitic claims on on the internet. We also know of the basketball player that tweeted or liked something on social media that was um, in line with anti-Semitism and he paid the price with his career. So in what world does this woman think that the Jews have forgotten about the Holocaust and what happened to them? If anything, they remember and then show that nobody ever forgets by holding people accountable. If you try to take them back to where they came from, they will hold you accountable. Some of the things that she talked about also go ahead to re reinforce and reaffirm the fact that the system is still holding back black people because some of the things that she talked about are breadcrumbs. They're not things that people who are being helped by a system, a system that was designed for white people on the backs of black people should be complaining about. Okay, she says America has a black Miss American. How many black Miss Americans have won that crown? How many? How many? I, I am certain that for every one black Miss American you will mention, there are two other white ones to cancel out that black one. So 
why is representation such a hard pill to swallow? Black people are part of America, so why shouldn't they have a black Miss American? They are part and parcel of that community. And I don't think you hear black people complaining when a white girl wins Miss America because they totally understand that this is part of the system. The reason why many black girls are beginning to join pageants and stuff is because representation matters, you know. We live in a world of social media right now. Girls and ladies should be able to see a representation of themselves in the beauty industry and that is why when rihanna came out with Fenty beauty she sold out because white people just can't get it through the thick skull that representation actually matters you know she also mentions that black people have a black college okay juneteenth is excuse me what's happening to the white people they have a Black Miss America. They have a Black College. They have a Black Month. What do we have? And now they have Juneteenth. Yes, I understand there was slavery, don't get me wrong. But there was also a Holocaust, and that was more recent than slavery. But you don't hear the Jews saying, gimme, 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 gimme. What's the point of Juneteenth? What is it? I don't know. Okay, for every single black college you will mention, there are like 10 other white colleges, you know, and let us not lie that when you even look at um, good institutions, Ivy League institutions, majority of the people that go to these schools are not black people because the system continues to hold them back. And when I say the system, it's, it's so many things. A friend of mine was explaining to me that many black children grow up in either single mother homes or dysfunctional homes just because maybe the dad is in prison or the parents are working minimum wage, cannot afford to hire a private tutor for their children. And so the high school you go to is not the very best, doesn't have the best facilities, and that impacts the college or university that you will go to. To go to an Ivy League institution, you either have to be super bright, have a sports talent, or come from a good family that has for generations gone to Harvard. And that's not the reality of everybody. And so why is it so hard? And what is so tragic about black people having an institution like Howard where black excellence is celebrated, where black people can also say, this is our Ivy League and we, this is the pinnacle of black success. We're going to go toe to toe with you. What is so bad about that? I don't get it. I don't know if it's it's jealousy, if it's bitterness, or if it's just some groups of white supremacists realizing that the rate at which black people are coming up in the near future, they're going to threaten the status quo of white supremacy. You know, she mentions a couple of other gibberish things that actually do not even make sense. She asks, what do white people have? Should we, should we tell her or should we just ask her to watch the news? First of all, when white people commit crimes, they're not shot dead by the police. They're actually arrested in a dignified and human manner and prosecuted in a court of law. And more often than not, justice is always very kind to them. When a black person is in a compromising situation, whether by default or they put themselves there, chances are high they're going to end up dead, you know. And if they go to court, they're going to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. There was a time there was a case of a black man, first time offender. He had a small amount of uh, marijuana on him and he got 15 years. And there was a lot of uproar because this is a first time offender with a very small quantity of marijuana, no intention to distribute. And you, you're putting them in jail for 15 years, 15 years. You know, um, um, these are just things that, you know, white people have. White people have great education system. White people have great healthcare system. They don't have to fight and heavily advocate for themselves when they go to hospitals. In comparison to black people, compare the rate of black women that die during childbirth and white women that die during childbirth. Again, what do black people have? 
what do white people have or what do white people not have you have everything the system is designed to help you you know and so you just can't come out here and cry because black people are choosing to celebrate how far they've come black people are making strides and fighting for their place in a country that was built on the back of their blood sweat and tears so Karen grab a history book turn on the news you'll realize that you're a very very privileged white lady in comparison to the black people that you're trying to tear down on juneteenth let me know what you think and this is just me and i'm feeling like this on the outside i don't know how those who live in america feel and let me know if this is 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 is, is, is uh, this is some of the instances that you have to deal with as a black person in america trying to celebrate um the strides that you've made and moving forward in life i'll see you again next